Hello, I'm Z, and welcome to Ruza. Now, my god, this music is fucking awesome. But, uh, yeah, welcome to Ruza. This is a game I've been asked to play by the developer. Uh, Storage, as you just saw. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the, game, the name correctly, uh, but I hope I am. What this is, is it's it's another RPG. It's gonna take the place of Xenotan that I just finished. And, well, I'm excited for it because... First of all, this fucking music is awesome. I don't know how much I can emphasize how much I like this music. But, really, it just looks good. It looks like a good game. I, I don't know how to, what else to say. Okay, I'm a little soul moving around, okay. Whatever it may be. Right, Ruza. New game. I know it told me something about these levers. Left, right, middle, and select. New game. Continue, reset, and exit. Does not seem to do anything. Okay. We're gonna new game, because I haven't started any game, so continue it won't do anything. Ah, I still love this music, though. Alright, let's listen to this music just a second more and explain. This is a complete blind playthrough. I don't know anything about the game. Uh, and... Well, all I know is that it's an RPG, right? And it's got horror elements. I don't know how horror it is, but it's got horror elements. So... Here we go. As you progress, tutorial hints will gradually pop up to explain the game mechanics. If you like learning stuff on your own, you can skip the tutorial slides by pressing X or B1. You can always read them from the game menu later if you get stuck or if you need a quick refresher. Speaking of the game's menu, here's a quick rundown. We'll go into more details later on. You can access the game menu by pressing X key or the, but or the B button. Okay. The upper left is the button menu. Selecting button will load data into the content menu, the right. Lower left is the stats menu. The circle is the most the amount of gold, the star is the party level, and the arrowhead is the current is the party experience. The party menu contains all of your party members and their stats. This is the party member's portrait. Name, health gem stats, combat stats, rest cost current and total amount of health gems. The skill menu shows the detailed health and com combat stats for each party member, where you can spend your skill points when you, your party levels up. You can cycle through each party member with left and right arrow keys of the d-pad. The gear menu contains a list of all the gear you found and, on and or unlocked. You can cycle through each party member, like in the skills menu, and equip your gear. The item menu contains a list of all the items you found, bought and or unlocked. The journal menu contains the current main objective and any side objectives you acquire. The options menu contains various settings that you can adjust, ranging from technical to gameplay. The save and load menus allow you to save and load your game state. The autosave file gets written automatically, usually after cutscenes or before dangerous areas. The exit menu allows you to exit the red room or quit the game or quit the game. R oh, exit to the red room and or quit the game. Be sure to save your progress before exiting. Now that while in the red room, you can't use the game menu since it's been since it's the central hub. Enough talk for now. The hallway, uh, the, the hell, hallway. Ah, oh, good, good job, me at talking. The hallway is blocked by a strange substance. Remove it and proceed to the next section. I. Okay, the switch won't budge. It seems to be locked in place. What was that? Let's start them. Oh, that's a cool animation. Okay, you know what? That gives me vibes up. Okay, well, this is not, it's not gonna be, like, straight comparison, but the way, like, the menu comes in like that, it, it sort of feels like Persona 5, if you play that. Jeremy. Stack speed, so I, I, I guess I could put points into whichever stat I want. That makes sense. Gear, we got a crude weapon and a, some crude armor. No items. Journal says to find a way out of the nightmare. Hmm. Option-wise, I will turn the brightness uh, quite a bit higher, actually. I turned it up, actually, the contest thing up, uh, but um, I know it's for YouTube now, so it makes a, little, a bit more sense. Enemy power, enemy competence. Oh, so the AI. Battle loot, battle experience, battle conditions. I will leave these on default, unless I find an issue with them. Save, load. Already made an auto save. Okay, let's make our own uh, save. And yeah, I can see a bit better. Control panel key. 
is I'm just in this like cell. Okay. Ooh, it's open. Why is there a mouth? It looks like the lower jaw was violently dislocated. What is that? Hello. Clove. Well, I'll be. Would you look whom we have here? A lot more cadavers than usual. They are liquefying all over the place. What is she up to now? Being provocative as per usual. She's waiting for you at the end of the hall. Something is brewing behind the curtains, Mongrel. Nothing good, I'm afraid. Which sadly means more work for me. I quite enjoy the gentle hum of the hallways. Sadly, it's ruined by screams of agonizing death. Look at me rambling already. <laughs> I guess you're growing impatient. I can't let you pass. You know how things work around here. This routine again? It's the law. Basic combat? Ooh, okay. This is an interesting looking combat system. To avoid overwhelming you with a lot of new information, combat knowledge will be split into basic, advanced, and expert. Okay. Combat is a complex topic. For a smoother learning experience, combat situation will be simplified in the earlier stages. We will focus on the basics for now, enough to win simple combat scenarios. Once in battle, you are presented with the battle menu. Okay. Right off the bat, I got in the game. Sick ass music. Made the new game save file. And then I had like a 20 slideshow uh, tutorial on how to use the menu, which I think most people who have played an RPG know. Uh, there's not many people who haven't played an RPG, and if so, they can probably figure it out. What I like to compare this to is like the Xenoblade effect, where you have so many tutorials that it just it feels like you're, you're playing a tutorial simulator. Not quite there, you know. I'm, I'm clearly exaggerating here, but it does feel like there's a bit too much tutorial where there should be, you know, just curiosity. We should maybe explore, uh, explore like, uh, explore like a zone, you know, and as you go through that zone, you encounter people who might explain through combat how it works. That's a very, that's a more difficult version of, of explaining a tutorial, but uh, it is a more natural one. Whatever, uh, it doesn't matter, since, you know, it's still useful to have a tutorial. It just... When I press new game, it... It kind of ruined a bit of the mood from the main menu's music. Although, admittedly, admittedly I do like that music a bit too much. Alright, once in battle, you are presented with the battle menu. Note that the battle menu is mirrored. Both you and the enemy have the same set of options in battle. Pass effects that apply, that apply after the unit has acted for the turn. Counter that keeps track of the active party members. Okay. The more party members you have, the more orbs will appear. If a party member gets knocked out, the orb will turn dark. If there are multiple part multiple units in the party, party members will switch positions after each turn. Health bar containing health gems of various types. They reflect your ability to deal damage. Outmaneuver in the enemy and heal your team. Name of the unit. Party feature slots. Power bar. The three battle command slots, from left to right, the action slot, modifier slot, and feature slot. The command confirmation slot. To issue your command, select and confirm the action. A new menu will appear where you can select your action. After selecting a button, more inf information about your action will be displayed in the details bar at the bottom of the screen. The left side of the details bar displays the effect that will be applied to the enemy. The right side to you. Select and confirm the attack action. It will then be displayed in the slot. Select the confirmation to start the combat round. After the, combina er, the combat animation plays out, a new round starts again. The goal is to destroy all of your opponent's health gems. One last thing, by pressing X key or B button on the confirmation slot, you can exit combat and reload the last autosave. Those are the basics. At the end of each tutorial, you should have enough information needed to claim victory in your next battle. Good luck. Which path will you take? The choice is yours, Mongrel. Ooh, that background is creepy. Oh, hey, also, this is very natural when it comes to a, a fight. I don't feel like I need, a, I didn't feel like I need that much of a tutorial for that. 
So heal, attack, I could attack, and then I could... Okay. Well, what That costs, like, party members? Or what does that mean? The quality of sta or state of being physically strong, chaotic. Physical. Skill of influencing the world by using physical powers. Insane. External. Let's go with strength. I don't know what that means, but uh, let's go with strength. I think I also took one damage from myself. Focus. Okay. Vile slice. Okay. There, four damage. Ignore. Oh, okay, so what does that mean? How do I use these? What makes these usable? I think it's one of my bars there, the last one. But I don't know. Heals gems based on damage dealt and steals half the enemy's buffs. Okay, we'll go with that one. Chaotic, I don't know what that means, but let's go. Okay. Spoils of War. Okay. Party experience until next level and we got nothing. A bit rusty, but not bad. This place is of no concern to you, but I appreciate your involvement. Try not to get into too much trouble now, Mongrel. Well, goodbye to you too. This mouth is still very random and, uh... Don't know what to think about it, but... oh. Oh, that's a door. There are three doors here. One of them has to be the exit. No, not this one. Let's try door, door number two. Not this one either. So this one? This one has to be it. I just know something bad will happen. Uh-oh. Busted. What took you so long? Well, don't just stand there. Come on in and wash my back. Yeah? No, that's the worst of them all. Makes all perfect sense now. It all, it all makes perfect sense now. I know, right? Oh. A dream. Ah. It did say to escape the nightmare. Guess you just wake up. That makes sense. Alright. Still have a few books left. Just a couple more hours and the translation will be complete. Then again, I'm getting a little bit dizzy. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel you. I haven't got a good night's sleep in days. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I feel you. Could really use some help. Victory, uh, demon girl? Oh, uh, that sounds interesting, yeah. Still a bit tired. Sure walks should fix that. What time is it anyway? New paper strips should be dry by now. Objective updated. That's uh, that's good to know. Go outside and inspect the paper strips. Last couple of days have been a bit colder than usual. At least I have enough firewood on hand. Houseki. Can't sleep now. I still have a lot of work to do. There's still a lot of text I need to translate before the end of the day. Bunch of books about fire magic. Collection of old tomes and scrolls, mostly about arcane research and ancient fire magic. Okay, I want to say this. When I looked at the game, I thought it looked cool, right? When I opened the game, I thought the music was fucking sick, and it got me so hyped. Then I got in the game, and I got bombarded by tutorials. I, it was a bit of a letdown, I'm not gonna be- I'm not gonna... You know, not mention that. And then, once I finished that, I'm starting to really like this again. Like, I'm way more invested in this than 
actually some of the bla the games I'm playing on my channel right now. Which is weird. I don't know why, but it's really drawing me in. It's got a certain charm about it, you know? An ordinary wooden desk. Ah, thank you for describing it to me. Hmm, looks like the pendulum, pendulum, pendulum is broken. I should fix that clock when I get some free time. Oh, that's why time is passing, but the pendulum isn't moving. Is that a animation saving cost? No, we're not gonna talk about the flowers. Oh, come on. Three gold and throw knives and band-aid. Mm, you keep those things around. Kitchen drawer that contains some plates, silverware, and other various cooking utensils. Barrel filled with drinking water. Not hungry at the moment. Well then, better not. Better not if I want to keep my sanity for the day. What's up there? A couple of boxes filled with freshly cra crafted paper. Where is that demon girl? This fucking music still slaps. Holy shit. Okay, I've played some games like in the past couple of days and in the past while, you know, that's that have had good music, but like this, this really is my style of music. I. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just going to continue. That, that's if, if it keeps going like this, that's going to be the only actually not the only, but the main thing I'm going to be praising constantly is the music because God fucking damn, the music is good. Pigs seem to be doing all right. I, they, they seem dead to me, but I guess that's how pigs sleep. Sure. Don't they sleep on their side, though? Farm plots containing various plants used in paper construction. They do sleep on their side. None of these guys are on their side, though. Wait, what's this? Notice that one of the paper strips is torn apart. Those two again. They're not even trying anymore. Alright. I partake in your cat and mouse games. What am I doing now? Return to your desk and continue working in your studies. Or on your studies. Bunch of gardening tools. Wooden press that forms paper sheets by extracting moisture from plant pulp. Large tub for soaking refined plant pulp. I shouldn't de delve deeper into the forest. It's not safe at night. Makes sense. I don't know why you live in the middle of the forest, but okay. <sighs> hmm. What should I make this time? Jeremy grabs a few components, start building a bunch of small contra contraptions. You can restore a party, a party member's health by pressing Z or A button to pay their rest cost. Oh! When you accumulate enough XP, your whole party will level up. Each party member will get one skill point per new level. You can cycle through your party members, left and right, arrow keys, d-pad, and select the character with the A or Z button. You can add or remove skill points. Skills will be covered in more details during combat tutorials. Investing in attack and damage is always a safe bet. The gear menu allows you to equip artifacts. Each party can equip two artifacts. You mean equipment. Okay, sure. Calling them art of I wouldn't call a crude weapon an artifact, but okay. Once you find or purchase an artifact, you, all your party members can equip and share that artifact at the same time. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Note that once you buy an artifact, it can't be sold. While party members can share a single artifact, they can't equip the same artifact in both slots. That makes sense. Okay. There are three categories for items, from top to bottom. Tradable, unique, and quest. So, tradable is money, unique is a shining gem, and quest is, well, quest scroll. Tradable means they can be purchased and sold. Unique means they can be sold but not purchased. Note that I unique items can become tradable if you find a merchant that wants to buy them. Okay. You can buy or sell items. You buy items at a price displayed in the menu. You always sell them at half that price. When you get a side quest, you will have a status tra tracker. Question mark means unresolved and check mark means resolved. In tutorial sections, you can replay these tutorial slides and or disable tutorial hints all together. Whenever you feel like things are getting dangerous, save your game. Save often. You can also save, delete save files by using either the left or the right arrow key. The icons on the right indicate the current world zone. For a couple of minutes of crafting, Jeremy neatly organizes the strange contraptions on his desk. Story branching. 
Okay, this is another tutorial. Yeah, it really feels like Xenoblade at this point. I I've played, what, 20 minutes, and uh, at least 7 of those minutes have been tutorial, probably. During your adventure, you will be offered to make choices. Some could be could be harmless banter, others are important for future events. Now yeah, the only thing left is to dial the potency. Ah, um... Don't hurt the mild pain nuclear difficulty level, okay. You know you could make these more obvious instead of making everything a tutorial. Mild pain. Ladies, this might be a pinch. This will be interesting. Ada. What do you think? Can you break in silently? Moxie. No problem. This will be a piece of cake. Be careful. It's pretty dark in there. Don't worry. Moxie's a trained professional. Hmm. Real quiet now. Moxie meant to do that. Where is Paperboy? Just make sure to search every room. He's probably hiding somewhere. <laughs> is that money? Wait a second. Thought you could have smart, Moxie, eh? And also forget to hide the disarm switch over here. Oh, I guess you could go up to the ceiling then. Ouchie. Oh, and that. Okay. Moxie, stop fooling around and... Moxie? <laughs> That's fucking funny how she looks. Look, Ada, free money. Moxie, these are chocolate coins. Wait, really? Yummy. At least unwrap. Ah, oh, Moxie. Oh, come on, Ada. Relax. Things could be worse. It's not like Paperboy rigged the house with explosives. Oh, that he did. Those ink bombs should keep them busy for a while. Now, what to do in the meantime? Hmm. Could spend some time with Camilla. If I recall correctly, she's still doing a research at the flower shop, at least. It's been some time since I ventured deeper into the forest. I should connect local lodestones for faster travel. Lodestone. During your travels, you may encounter strange change moving crystals. Those are lodestones. When you interact with the crystals, you get the ability to teleport your party to any other previously discovered lodestones. You also have the option to fully recover your party's health for free. Oh, for free. So we have bonfires, essentially. Do I need to restore? I'll restore. Interesting sound effect. We're restoring. Warp. River path. It's just here. I don't know why I can warp to the place I am at, but... Mine's closed due to recent... Hmm. The rest of the parchment is torn off. I wonder what happened. Well, I see Moxie. Ray in the mine is blocked from by thrower magic. The work of the lo local pixies, no doubt. Oh, is that not Moxie? Is that just regular pixie? Oh no, it is Moxie. Hey, stop right there. Moxie, there is no need for this. Come on, put him up. Jeremy picks a short tree branch lying on the floor. What? You're gonna fight with a giant toothpick? Bonk. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Hey, that's it. You might be smart. You're a noodle arms can't pick up. We can't put up a fight. Advanced combat. Like, out of two fights, you could just ex I, I understood how combat works. The health bar contains three different color options, types of health, gems, attacks, thief, speed, and defense. Red is attack, orange is speed, brown is known as defense. There's also three value types of health gems. Small, medium, and large. The round gem is small, square is medium, or large... Well, the star is large. Okay. Every turn, the gem positions are shuffled. When you, access the actions when you access your actions menu, you can cycle through the color types using your left and right arrow keys, or the d-pad. Notice that by changing the color, your combat stats will be modified to reflect that. The same method can be applied for items. Some stats might not change the color, but they are non-directional stats. You can only damage health gems of the same color as you attack. Your attacks travel in a straight line, propagating to multiple gems if it has enough power. For the entire health bar, 
that direction is from right to left. For your health bar, the direction is from left to right. Entire, no, enemy, I think it said. The number in the gem determines the count, so if you have one large gem that's 1 times 100, 100 total health points in that stack. For simplicity, let's imagine that the enemy has three different gem types of the same color. Your attack deals 5 points, you will shatter the first gem stack, you are left with 2 points of damage. Your attack continues, then the medium gem, and the, which has a value of 10, it isn't, it isn't enough, so your attack stops there. Here's another scenario, your red attack has 100 points of damage, but the medium gem has yellow speed type. The outcome is the same, but the case of... But in this case, the attack stopped because the gem in line has a different color type. Exception when it comes to some gear and item stats. When you change color, the command, some stats will not change color. There's are non extra stats. In that case, those stats will be applied to random gems in the health bar. This is way too fucking complicated. You could just, like, not explain all this right now. This is the second fight in the game. When the gem stack value reaches zero, it is shattered. The gem icon changes color as the value depletes. If all the gems are shattered, the unit is knocked out. It is important to note that when healing, make sure to aim for the first shattered gem stacks, otherwise you are, your, your heal won't work. Same applies to heal over time buffs in this spell. Now that we know about health management, let's quickly run over possible status effects. There are four types of status effects. Damage over time, heal over time, buff and debuff. Damage over time will deal damage after the unit's turn. Heal over time will heal damaged health, gems, and the unit uh, after the unit's turn. Buff increases your damage and reduces incoming damage of that color. Debuff does the opposite. Status effect values can stack and are permanent until removed. Forge removes positive states from enemies and the spell removes negative states from allies. That's it for now. Color function sta state stacking and the rest of the expert mechanics will be explained in an expert combat tutorial. Yeah, glad to know that. Are you done reading your picture book? I know, right, Moxie? I am though. Come on, paper boy. Put him up. What about the gold over there? What? Where? Uh, paper boy, there is no gold here. It's right over there. You have to look closer. Wait a minute, what's this? Dear Moxie, if you are more than you are more than welcome to join my book reading event event next time. Have a nice day. Dear Moxie. Oh, there's a little heart in the Moxie name. So cute. <laughs> yeah, there is. Speaking of hearts, heart, Moxie could go for some gingerbread hearts right now. Soft and spicy with a hint of lemon zing. Paperboy, can you whip up some gingerbread? What? Where'd he go? Rude. The name of this guy. That's it. Put him up. <laughs> Didn't I disappear though? This feels like Helltaker music. Alright, so I can switch attack colors. We're gonna attack with yellow, right? Because that's what it said. You can switch types for this as well. That does a lot of damage. No point in using it now, though. I don't know what this third thing is. Yeah, red. Okay, and then we go external. Okay. Clumsy slash. There, that's the correct color, and then we do drain. Oh, it's tur oh, I see. So th these things are like special attacks, right? But like, you see the little things that like are next to our names, the little dots. They they fill up each round, and you can use them here. I'll do drain, and then we'll go chaotic. I don't know what it means. There, gone. Gold coins, party experience. Party has reached, reached level 2. Stale biscuit is my spoiler of war. Uh oh, Moxie needs to weasel herself, out of, uh, weasel herself out of this mess. Wait, Moxie can trick Paperboy. Moxie will use the power of seduction. Uh oh. Paperboy. Is it. Is it. Are you okay? Moxie? Are you alright? Oh, okay. Never mind. Time for plan B. Please don't hurt Moxie. Fine. What is it this time? <laughs> Moxie's smart. Moxie didn't mean to break into your house. It's just that Moxie hasn't eaten days, so... Moxie, you stole the entire roast just yesterday. You keep this up and you'll be even chubbier. Wait a minute, what do you mean by even? Moxie's not chubby. You have some nerve saying to that to a pretty gal like Moxie. Who do you think you are? 
That's it. Max will show you who's boss. Put him up. Moxie will get you for this, even if it's the last thing she does. Hmm. Maybe I went a bit too far. Ah, not the butt. Nah, she'll be fine. It's the classic Moxie, uh... Charm, right? Should be careful, there are pixies patrolling nearby. During your travels, you'll notice star indicators in the world. These are exploration sites. Interacting with an exploration site can lead to two outcomes, search or combat. If you roll search, then you'll have a chance to find gold or items. If you roll combat, then you'll be ambushed during exploration by the zones, denizens, and you enter combat. After you complete the search or combat, the exploration site can be interacted with again. There are three levels of exploration sites that can appear on the map, ranging from easy to hard. These exploration sites have weaker enemies and cheap loot, while harder ones have stronger enemies, better loot. Makes sense. Thank you. Okay, combat. Steel biscuit. Mm. Actually, we'll go with this color first. That's how it works, I think. This arm. Hmm. Not great. Spear slash. Okay. Four. Ooh, good. Can't quit while guarding. I don't need to quit. I just need to hit this yellow attack. There. Gold coins, party experience, party experience until next level. Throwing knife. Hey, throwing knife is good. Another fight. Ooh, good music. Insane. I don't know what that means. Let's try it. I don't know why we take damage for doing actions. That's weird. Oh, you've rearranged your stuff. That's interesting. Slice and dice. Okay, okay. Drain. Orange, focus, physical. Let's try this. You're healing. I'll heal too. Do I have any actions? Is that what that means? Snake bite. That's I believe that oh no, that wasn't poison? Okay. Slice and dice, one HP. Two HP, okay. I have to heal. I right, start with this one, right? No, we won't do any of these. There we go. And actually, a drain. There, we healed from that. We've reached level 3, and you got a cherry bomb. Okay, so this is quite simple, but um, since I'm so close, I, I can just go back and uh, and restore my health at the, the place here, right? And these fights are completely op- Chanel. Oh, was it earlier on? Or is it just gone now? The save point thing. Oh, not the save point, rather, but the restoration point. There we go. Restore party. For free. No rest cost. We haven't gotten any gear. I know that much. Yeah. Um, items, though. We have... Uh, cherry Bomb. Packs of Punch. Okay, good. These are unique items. That's a quest item. Find the florist shop and talk to Camilla. Okay. On to it. 
I'm gonna fight once more though. Trying to get the hang of the fight, you know. And how it works. I found gold. Yeah, no, no. Let's uh, do one more fight. Got orange first. That's fine. Go with orange. This arm. Screw you. Alright, you're 1 HP. There. Gold coins, party experience, and two more XP until we level up. Alright, okay. Done enough of that. What's this? There's nothing here. Nothing but regret here. Nothing but regret. What's that mean? Okay, well, that's not the restoration point. And then we'll go with this fight. Razor Leaf. I don't know, I'm trying to fight. There we go. I'm just choosing these at random. I have no clue what they actually affect. Oh, there's two party members. Okay, that's a tougher fight. Disarm. Screw you. What does Aegon mean? All enemies are allies. I think I'll do that. Spear slash. Four of the orange. We can kill this one. I need to heal myself. Here we go. No damage and I heal? Only one. Why only one? Okay, heal again. This time make it red, maybe? Ignore colors, maybe. I don't know how that color on healing works yet. Oh, do you attack first? Oh, well, what? Okay. Game over screen is interesting. Autosave should be near. Yeah, I wasn't expe uh, expecting two, f two in one fight. I don't quite understand fully how the healing works. Oh, it puts me back here. Alright then. Back to this epic fucking music. Auto save at 2851. When is that? Is that before Moxie? I think it was. No, it was after Moxie. Is it gonna explain stuff? I should be careful there. Pixie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this. We know this. Okay, I'm gonna fight a bit more. Okay, there's only one here. Stop doing this arm. No damage? Oh, because I attacked the wrong thing, I think. Or maybe not. It's 
spear slash missed pretty sure i can just attack like this missed never mind there all right i'll do one more since i want the xp here we go Yeah, I have no clue what these mean, the external and all that stuff. Yeah, okay, I healed myself. Miss, okay. arm that's not great I'll heal miss stop missing you also missed why do you attack first now also why can my personal fucking heal me miss I understand missing an attack right but how do you miss a heal That feels a bit off. Continue from also here. Yeah, I should be careful, I know. Okay, a lot of status effects going on on me, but I think I should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. That fight went okay. Here we go, the second one. This arm. Focus, maybe it crits. There. Okay, well I guess I'm leveled up at least once now. Yeah. I'd love to be leveled up more, but uh, I lost in a fight. Even at full HP. I'll restore your party here and I'll save. Yeah, so this is gonna get some... This is gonna have um, me getting used to it quite, for quite a bit. Or this is gonna take me... Take some getting used to it. There we go. That's the right word. This is gonna take some getting used to. Because it's definitely complex. But once I understand it, I feel like it'll be a lot more uh, fun than regular RPG mechanics. I don't know. Either way, let me make that save that I was saying. Here we go. Um, we don't have the party bomb anymore, or whatever it was. I don't know if it was called party bomb. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we can put skill points in, right? Attack. I can, I can subtract. Yeah. Attack, speed, defense. Ah. Uh. Maybe one damage over time might be nice. Or four damage in general. No, damage over time might be nice. 
I can always change them, right? Yeah, it seems so. Alright then. It seems like there's three areas. The forest, the mushroom, and the rose. Or the leaf, mushroom, and rose. Alright, well I save there. And I'm gonna leave it here. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day. And I'll see you next week.